hello and welcome to today's video this is quite an exciting one and it's also an excuse to eat a load of pancakes so here we are we're basically going to be comparing vegan pancake mixes these are pancake mixes in terms of like the uk pancake day pancakes which are more of a crepe style pancake than a fluffy style pancake but like very much what you'd expect if you're in the uk and you're thinking of having pancakes for pancake day this is what we're comparing i have for the last couple of years now been using this pancake mix this is from tesco and it's just the pancake shaker mix vegan and i've been very happy with it However, it was also the only option. <laughs> there has never been any other options. This year, there are two more options. So as well as the one from Tesco, we also have here the MS Plant Kitchen Vegan Pancake Shaker. And we also have the OMV, which is Asda's own brand, Deliciously Vegan Pancake Shaker. So <laughs> those are the three that we're gonna be trying. And I'm going to be trying them so i'm going to do one of them tonight one of them tomorrow one of them the day after and to also make it easy because obviously just because you require to have a vegan pancake mix in one it could be a dietary requirement rather than like an ethical ecological standpoint but also you might need it because there's only one person that requires it but obviously yeah so what i'm trying to say is although i myself am vegan and i know i like this one so i assume i like these two my boyfriend is not and he will also be a part of the taste test section and giving his thoughts feelings are they actually good are they good if you are non-vegan like do they still taste like pancakes how you want pancakes to taste and that is the very basics of it so i will say <laughs> already have a conspiracy theory um these are the exact same bottles and they are pretty much the exact same ingredients too wrote slightly differently but the exact same ingredients and it also seems to be pretty much like within four calories the same amount of calories and the same amount of other like nutritional information so we are pretty confident <laughs> that these are all made in the same factory made in the same place and just the stores package them with a different label because they are literally the same bottle front back they've got the same like indentations on the bottle where it says like shake me so <laughs> yeah already that they i'm assuming will taste the exact same and when i do them i'll tell you like the prices and stuff i think that that's the only difference like there were slightly different prices so i'll make sure to include that information but i'm assuming they're going to basically taste the same so honestly i expected there to be lots of different bags and boxes from different places when i saw that more vegan pancake mixes were out this year i didn't expect them to all look the same and i didn't know that until i had them all back in one place but hopefully this is still an interesting video and hopefully you've got one or multiple of these stores by you it makes it a bit easier to figure out what's your best option so yeah let's just get into it we'll go for our first one being the tesco pancake shaker mix this is one that i've already tried and i assume it's the same this year as it has been the last couple of years and if that is the case it's going to be good like i personally think it's going to be good so hopefully it actually is okay tesco pancake shaker mix this is what the bottle looks like i'll also have the ingredients up on the screen so you can see the back of the bottle and actually read the information but this is what we've got step one shake the bowl and loosen the contents Remove the cap and add 290 millilitres of non-dairy liquid. I'm going to be using this. This is my favourite like milk that I have. This is the Oatly Barista Edition. This is just personally, the taste-wise, what I like the best. So I'm going to be using this for them. And then for best results, use an oat-based alternative. So that's perfect. That's what I've got. Invert the bottle and shake vigorously for approximately one minute until the mixture is smooth. I will say it did not say to put these back on, but I will, of course, be doing that. So... Let's get this mixed up and then we'll make one up.
Okay, it is cooked, I think, I hope. It's a bit thicker than I would have liked, but it looks okay. It does, it looks good. Yeah, yeah, Jay's joined. I have indeed. Okay, yeah. uh, do you want to do your half, I'll do my half? Sure. I'm about to squish my lemon into the hot pan. Oops. Are we, are we tasting it on camera? Yeah, let's taste. I will angle that up. You got yours? I have. You can go if you want. Right, I'll go. Yuck. That's a pancake day pie. It is really nice. A pancake day pancake. Yeah. Yeah. It just it, it tastes the same, but it's like how they taste if you make them yourself with egg and flour and whatever. That was a jaw here for yeah. the Yeah, very nice. I can cook. Then again, you can cook. I can cook. Oh you can cook. That's good. So yeah, that is the Tesco Pancake Shaker Mix Vegan. And we just added the oatly greased milk. I will yeah. put on screen somewhere how much pancakes it ends up making. So this one says it's six servings. I reckon there'll probably be four. So I'll put on screen how many pancakes it ended up making, how much the cost of the bottle is, and then therefore how much it is per pancake. Oh. Because obviously we're pretty confident all these. I've already said they're like your conspiracy theory. Oh yeah, they're the same thing. That they're all the same, <laughs> yeah. obviously. But there is a price difference, so. I have something to say. Oh god. I don't like oat milk. I I can't have I can't deal with it on cereal. No, I mean, can't have it in tea. I don't mind it in coffee. Yeah, I was gonna say you'll have it in your coffee if you um, want. but you can't taste it at all. No. It? it just it just tastes like normal pancakes. I mean this is the best oat milk. That is true. But yeah. We'll see you tomorrow when we do another one. I need to go to bed. But before I go to bed, pancakes. So today we're going to be making the MS Plant Kitchen Vegan Pancake Shaker. This again is just add non dairy milk and shake, make six pancakes. Looks the exact same. Oh, hello. <laughs> This looks the exact same as one we made the other day. It says on the back to add 290 millilitres of dairy alternative liquid to the bottle or filter the fill line. For best results, use oast based dairy alternative, which is pretty much the exact wording as what the other one said. So I'm just going to follow the instructions. I'm going to turn the bottle upside down, shake it, loosen the contents, add the stuff, place the cap. Did say that on the other bottle, did it? Invert the bottle and shake well for about one minute until the mixture is smooth. Heat a non-stick frying pan, approximately 20 centimetres, medium heat, 5 millilitres of oil. Pour enough batter to cover the base of the pan, just enough to form a thin pancake. Wait until the top of the pancake begins to set, then loosen gently from the edge of the pan with a spatula. Turn or flip the pancake over and cook until both sides are golden brown. Repeat with the remaining batter. So yeah, let's, let's just do it, let's just do it. Okay, I think the pancake is ready. Do you agree? Let me see. Yeah. So we're going to share the first one again like we did for the previous batch. Yeah. Turn that off a minute. Good shout. And carry on. Yeah. So it went all clumpy. We had one of these last year, uh, the Tesco one I think, and I forgot to, the, to do the first step which is to sort of shake it before the liquid goes in and it came out really clumpy. So I'm wondering if this one needed more shaking whilst it was still dry than the other one did and that's why it's come out clumpy yeah i mean it had the shaking it was meant to have yeah what's the matter just not getting enough attention okay i assume it's going to be the exact same as the previous one but let's give it a go hmm it tastes a bit more flowery to you 
I think we need to do another one to properly taste because this tastes a bit more flary, like a bit more maybe like gritty. Mm. Um, but because we had those pieces that you'll have seen in the video, I don't know what I took another bite whilst talking, but um, like it still tastes good, but it just tastes a bit more flowery. Is the only yeah, flowery. So I think we'll do another one before signing this one off properly yeah. because I think there's a high chance that it's just from the amount of like lumps in it. We'll give yeah. it another shake before doing the next one. Let's do it. It's still nice though. Yeah, it still tastes really good. It's literally just a bit more flowery, which like is not really what I want. But I'm assuming that is from yeah, it's just been a the bit unmixed lumps. lumps. Yeah. Yeah. We'll make another and we'll come back once we ate that one and give our final final thoughts. Cause we will. Yeah. Oi. Personally, think this taste leaves that same nose, so it was definitely a flair issue for me. Jay has a different theory. There's like a classic pancakey flavour in this that is like what makes it so good for being like a vegan alternative. I think the one that we made just like earlier didn't have that, so I think it wasn't like extra floweriness. I think it was just maybe the flair overpowered it. Yeah, it could be, I suppose. But yeah, this is this is right on the money. Yeah. Right, yeah, that is what you want from a pancake date. Pancake, as I did for the previous one, I'll put how many pancakes we ended up managing to make from it over here, and I'll also put in the calculation based on the price of it, which you'll have seen in like the little intro graphic that I did, which will be the price divided by the amount of pancakes, which will give you the actual price per pancake. This once again, like the previous one, says it will serve six. I reckon we're halfway through the batter, so I don't know, but we'll figure it out. We will. So, yeah, um, just as good as the first one. Tastes really good. Tastes like a pancake today. Pancake. So yeah, all thumbs up. Bro, yeah. Okay, so this is the third and final one we've got to try. This is O M V Deliciously Vegan Pancake Shaker. It looks the exact same as the others. <laughs> it's in the exact same bottle. This is Jay's theory. I did mention it at the start. You yeah, were, uh, yeah. they're all the same. They are. But yeah, obviously I'll have put a little intro screeny before this and you'll be able to see all the information. But yeah. Have they all been the same number of grams? Because of the same ingredients and same bottle size. Yeah, 155. And if this tells you to add to... 290, yeah, 290, so yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're going to try it. We're going to try it. We've purchased it. We're going to buy it. We're going to buy it. We're going to buy it. We already bought it. We're going to try it. We're going to try so, it. So, yeah, exact same as all the others. We're going to shake the bottle to loosen the contents, remove the cap, and add 290 millilitres of non dairy liquid. Again, we'll be using that same Oatly Barista. For best results, use an oat based alternative. Replace the cap, which again, only two of them have said that out of the three, so that's something. Invert the bottle and shake vigorously for approximately one minute until mixture is smooth. Add a small amount of oil to a seven inch non-stick frying pan. I think that's the only one that said the size of the frying pan on it. Pour enough batter to cover the base of the pan just enough to form a thin pancake. Cook for one to two minutes, then loosen gently from edge of the pan with spatula. The pancake will be ready to turn when it moves freely from the base of the pan. Turn or flip the pancake over and cook for a further one to two minutes until golden brown. R repeat with the remaining batter. So if I'm going to bit more in detail as to how to actually cook it so, that, so like maybe we should have done this one first maybe but no we know we knew how to do it we've done it before yeah but yeah we're just gonna fill this up make a pancake and tell you what it tastes like
I'm calling this done. Jay, oh. Jay's not there yet, but it, it really is done. It's really done. That side's done. Look at the other side. Oh, That's yeah. done. Right, it's done. So, yeah, let's take this up and we'll come and talk. Okay, we once again have a pancake. And I'm very excited about this. It looks really good. Jay's definitely got better over the uh, last few days of making them. Yeah, it's been like a crash course of pancake making. I mean, it tastes really good. It tastes great. I can't tell the difference. It's the exact same. It tastes delicious, but it's the exact same. So yeah, once again, I put on the screen how much this one was. How many pancakes we actually managed to make out of it. Again, it says serve uh, six, I believe. Let me double check, it does actually say the same as the others. Yeah, this product provides six servings. We'll let you know how many we actually make and how much that is per pancake. Yeah. And yeah, we're gonna go eat some more of these and then we'll come sit down and chat in a minute about the three different ones and kind of our thoughts and feelings. Okay, we are back for our final little check-in. I actually edited all of the video up until this point and I do have one thing to kind of correct and one thing to say because it turns out we never said it anywhere so thing to correct there's no different prices they're all one pound <laughs> I thought it was now, weird that, you, that they were going to be different prices no in my defense I took a picture in Asda when I went and picked one up from the Asda supermarket and it was in the place where the porridge should be so I'd got the, the price of the porridge but when I read the label that was actually for the porridge so in my defense I just thought I'd buy an 85p porridge rather than one pound right pancake yeah shape. okay so yeah they are all one pound each so there's no price differentiation at all any differentiation at all i mean they're the same the other thing to mention is we did take this quite scientifically well at least more than what i feel like we let across we did lemon and sugar for the ones that we we're talking about to make sure they tasted the same yeah. rather than doing different toppings on each we never actually said that but yeah we just did lemon and sugar for all the ones that we like spoke about on camera obviously you know we made a few out of each so we did use different toppings but the ones we actually spoke to you about and the ones that we were talking about all were just lemon and sugar on pancake yes so those are the quick things to clarify they're all the exact same whatever's closest to you whatever's easiest to get to I mean, I think they taste great. Like, I would actually genuinely recommend them. Like, I think they're all really good, solid pancake mixes. I don't think they're any different, like, from each other. No. I think even if you're in a household that has vegan people and non-vegan people, I don't think the non-vegans are going to be upset about this or you feel like they're missing out. I think date you could tell the difference. No, I really... I, I May think maybe that been... could be another video. Jay, Jay does... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, normal pancake mix versus vegan pancake yeah. mix. Can you tell the difference? Like Tesco do one in the exact same bottle. So they do. Literally do that. They do. I think we might have done that before, like a few years ago. It sounds familiar. I'm not sure if we filmed it. I, I don't think we've got a video on that. But yeah, they really do taste very similar to just normal pancakes that I made, where you mix like egg and milk and flour. So yeah, yeah they're really good. It's a bit of a crap ending because yeah. they're all the exact same. Like there was no major differences. No major differences. If in the <laughs> next few years more pancake mixes more vegan pancake mixes come around like if there's another two or three we'd be happy to do another video yeah but for now i feel like that's just it that's case what there closed. is case closed i really hope you enjoyed the video please do give it a like if you did like it subscribe down below if you want to see more content like this and hopefully we will see you next time bye